deoxygenated red blood cell and I'm gonna show you a day in my life. So I enter the heart through the either the superior or inferior vena cava and then I enter the heart through the right atrium. So in the right atrium, that's when ventricular filling happens. Ventricle volume increases and the pressure slightly increases and then uh, the right atrium contracts. So I'm ejected through the tricuspid or the right AV valve and I land in the right ventricle. So now I'm chilling in the right ventricle during isovolumetric uh, ventricular contraction. All the valves are closed, so it's a cozy chamber where the volume stays the same, but the pressure increases. Shout out to the papillary muscles and the cord antennae for making sure the tricuspid valve is always shut, and, and then I always go forward. Um, the right ventricle then contracts, and I'm sent flying through the pulmonary semilunar valve and into the very arteries. Hey there, now it's me, oxygenated blood. Me and Deoxy basically have the same day, but I think mine is better because I'm part of the stronger part of the heart. Anyways, I move through the pulmonary veins into the left uh, atrium. And from here onto the left atrium, I begin to move to the left ventricle through the left bicuspid AV valves. Um, and it's really nice here in the ventricle, except that a lot more pressure begins to increase once the atrium goes through its full contraction. So there's a lot of pressure in here, but there's a lot more pressure actually in the aortic artery where the semilunar valve or the aortic valve is closed as well. So everything is closed right now and there's a lot of pressure in here pressing down on me, pressing down on you, no man asked for. Anyways, <laughs> you can have the don't worry, not too long after, I'm going to be leaving the ventricle because the pressure here is going to build up so much that it's going to surpass the pressure that of the aortic artery. So, once the semilunar valve or the aortic valve opens, I'm going to go through and go through the aortic artery from ventricular ejection. So now, I'm going to go throughout the whole entire body, but where am I going to go next? Anywhere. I require more pressure than the right side to be pushed down as far as them dogs down here, so wish me luck!